What's up guys, Acer Thorn here, and this is my first impressions playthrough of the early access game Satisfactory. Now, as you can see from the title, from the main menu, this is a literal factory, so I assume it's a factory where they make Satis. Okay, this is an early access game, just so just in case I haven't made that clear. So this game is a work in progress, and I'm going to do my level best to be fair to it with this knowledge in mind. Okay, let's get this party started. Uh, sees okay. Ideal for first-time pioneers, which seems like what I'm gonna go with. Uh, suitable for first-time pioneers. Good for more experienced pioneers. Recommended for advanced, okay. So I guess, grassy plains it is. Oh, it's literally just called Grass Fields. Uh... The on... Okay, and able to skip the onboarding process and start the game at Tier 1. I am going to pass on that, because I already tried to do a first impressions of Factorio. I decided to skip the tutorial. I didn't want to record the tutorial, because I felt that would have been boring. It turned out it was actually a lot more interesting and worthy of a video than I had anticipated. But then when I went to record it again, the game wouldn't let me just start over. I tried reinstalling the demo, I tried doing all that shit. Nothing worked. So I was just stuck with my mid-tutorial autosave. So I basically just had to throw that first impressions out altogether. So I don't want to make that mistake again, so I'm going to do the tutorial. If it ends up being both short and boring, I'll cut it out of the final recording. In any event, let's start the tutorial. This loading screen doesn't even have any music, let alone... And it's too early for me to put a mid-roll ad here. I'm only like two and a half minutes in. And that's not even ca and that's including all the time I spent setting up everything before I actually started the video proper with what's up guys, Azer Thorn here. So it's too early for me to even put a mid-roll ad in here and I have no idea what to even expect. Uh the demo for tomorrow's game just finished downloading. That's nice. Uh, this is a for okay, okay. I'm I can control the camera. Attention, pioneer. The following instructional video is a summary of your impending duties as an exoplanetary pioneer for Fixit Incorporated. Fixit pioneers have three cyclical assigned pillars of work to ultimately accomplish project assembly. Use provided blueprints to build the necessary buildings. Okay, so this is a resource hard and gather resources to provide desired results and improve your infrastructure. Make sure to report any unusual discoveries to R&D for analysis. Got it, chief. Yeah, just just go around mining resources. Just send your factories, outposts and pipelines through automation and augmentation. So th yeah, just like Factorio, the game I had That's to throw it. out. Get to work and be effective. Warning, planetfall imminent. Please remain seated during full procedure. Atmospheric entry in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Planetfall procedure initialized. Holy shit, we're on fire! I thought, I, I mean, damn! How... Good thing this thing is well built. Is that what astro real life astronauts have to go through? Huh. I was about to say this seemed uneventful enough that I could cut it out. Then the then I was just li going through literal the fires of hell just now. So I think I'll keep that. Please ensure the integrity of your multi-purpose exploration suit is at 100%. Yeah, shut up. I don't want to test it. Just open the damn door. First. 
Godspeed. Huh. Okay, so instead of a Welcome point in Planet Massage 2 ABB, your designated sector in the binary star system of Akicha. Thank you, honey. Anita, also known as artificial directory. Jesus, can I say something sh for fuck's sake? You in their mission. Okay, you know what? Fuck you. you are the third of your this is okay. Factorio was a point and click bird's eye view game. No. This apparently Objective is introduction initialized. How the fuck do I pause? Okay, that's the console command right there. First objective. Please dismantle the drop pod. The resulting materials will be repurposed to construct a habitat and utility base from now on referred to as the hub. Oh yeah, you're going to obviously you're going to name it after a video game term. Efficient. We do not waste. Okay, so apparently this is actually uh, this is apparently a uh, first person view. Uh, okay, this must be the hub, and oh my fucking god, the frame, the frame rate on my OBS is atrocious. I don't, I mean, it's not a hardware problem. I'm rocking an AMD Ryzen, uh, 2600, and a GeForce GTX... 1070 Ti with 32 gigs of DDR4 RAM, so I should not be getting frame rates this atrocious. So how do I... There's this exclamation, at least on my end, the frame rate seems kind of decent. Decent-ish. Or maybe it not, because I can't seem to get in here, or am I even supposed to get in here? This Is this my hub? Why is the exclamation mark directing me to this? <sighs> Damn! I am rocking 7 FPS here, at least on the recording end. It's gonna be Ghost Runner all over again, isn't it? Okay, dismantle the drop pod. Press F to enter dismantle mode. Use... Okay. Uh, dismantle. Hold left mouse button. There we go. Close. Q. And mass dismantle. Hold on. There All we go. important fix-it data and communication is recorded and stored in the codex, including these steps. Open the codex. All tutorials, messages, and emails will be saved to the codex. Press X to open the codex. Thank you. Okay. Search. Gotcha. Okay. Buildings. The hub. Add to the to-do list. The heart of your factory. This is where you complete... Fix it milestones to unlock additional blueprints of buildings. Okay, got it. Hub parts. So I need hub parts to build a hub. Well, gee, who'd a thunk it? And the okay, hub parts becomes the hub. So Okay, got it. Uh iron plates iron rods turn into a craft bench got it second objective please ensure you have your fix it incorporated xeno zapper equipped before leaving the drop zone uh Note, according to fix it regulations every pioneer should have access to a means of defense against extraterrestrial threats uh okay I'm trying to find something I can dismantle. This is wood, right? Can't I dismantle wood? Or... Damn. F 
unfortunately, this doesn't seem to be a game that requires a, uh, a consistent 60 FPS. Equip... hang on. Okay. Hold left mouse... wait, hold left control. Maximum dismantle limit. I have, uh... I'm holding down the left control, but it's not filling up. Apparently there's 50 things in the vicinity that I can dismantle. <sighs> okay, how the hell do I build myself a hub? Q. Equip the... Press tab to open... Oh! Not... Okay. Th not the dismantler. This thing. Um... Xeno Zapper. Okay. Hand. Ah! Okay. Hub parts. Wait, do I equip that to this? Instead? Or... No. Do I just do that? Hmm. Pale Berry. That goes to my hand slot. So the hub part... Okay, hub part doesn't go to any slot. Or either slot, I should say. Okay, I've got wood, so... Leaves. Well, I've got leaves, too. Okay. Third objective. Please familiarize yourself with the resource scanner to find iron. Okay. Note. The acquisition of iron is considered essential in preparation for all future objectives. Huh. Well, do. Okay. Press V to scanning for iron ore. Well, I found iron. Oh, okay. I select that menu and then. Okay. Uh... Uh... Where the hell? Is this iron? No, that's just a weird-looking plant thing. Okay, 30... 300 meters away, there's an ore... there's an iron ore deposit. Okay, this one looks like it's closest. <sighs> uh, gonna just grab these leaves. They could be useful in building like a bed or something. Huh. Um... So if you're the average YouTube viewer, you're probably thinking that you'd like to support your favorite content creators, but you either don't want to or can't afford to spend any money. Well, I did a little poking around and you're in luck. There is a way you can support this channel for the same money you were just gonna be spending anyway. As long as you were otherwise an Amazon.com regular shopper. Look in the description of this video and you should see this Amazon referral link. Clicking on it will take you to an iPhone 11 for sale on Amazon.com. But even if you aren't interested in that iPhone, once you click on that link, You'll have 24 hours to make a purchase, any purchase, on Amazon. As long as you make literally any purchase on Amazon within 24 hours of clicking that link, I will get a cut of the sales revenue. This means that you will be supporting my channel by spending the exact same money you were just going to be spending anyway. Of course, you can also support me in a more direct way for as little as $1 per month by heading over to patreon.com slash acerthorn. Regardless of your method, I hope you choose to support the channel so I can one day do this full time. Alright, resuming the video you all came to see in 3, 2,
two, one. There. I need to stay on track, but I keep getting sidetracked because I'm trying to pick all these shrubs off. Because I'm getting resources out of them. Okay, you know what? Sprint it time. Time to sprint. This episode's going on pretty... Uh, I, I could end the episode here and it would be standard length, but... Press and hold E. Whoa! Ch hey. Fourth objective. Build the hub. Ah. Note: To complete this objective, the resources salvaged from the drop off will be consumed. Okay, Caution. motherfucker. Ensure the hub is built on spacious open terrain close to the presence of iron sources. Failure to do so will likely result in non-optimal progress. We will, we will rock you. Okay. Ah. Uh, okay. To improve the. Okay. Best build. It is best to build near iron nodes. Got it. The hub can be found in the build menu by pressing Q. Okay. The hub. Let's build this. Can I, uh. Is there a, uh... Hang... Hang on, can I please... Add... I don't need more than one hub, not at the moment. Damn! The, okay, by pressing Q, further instructions on how to use the build menu Okay, for fuck's sake, give shit. Uh, drag it. Do I have to click this area and then drag? Oh my fucking god. I had it just a moment ago. Why can't I have it here? Craft. Ugh. I am... I, I had it almost a moment ago, and I needed to back out for something. My god! Okay. Add to the to-do list, or rather, no, I already had that in the to-do list, so do that. Now, I literally just fucking had this shit. Set, b bind to hotbar. Select. Left. Thank you. Oh, I don't drag, I just click. Okay. Uh, it almost... Ah, fuck. I almost had it there for a minute. It turned blue to... Ah! There we go. There we go! Frickin' hell! Hey, developers, if you're watching this, Congratulations. patch that up before it, beca before it gets feature, released for good realsies. Hub feature, hub terminal. Shut up. Fifth objective. Shut Complete the hell up, Decca. No, <sighs> the craft bench and hub terminal are essential for progression to the next objective. <sighs> okay, you, you're going to shut up now? I think we're going to end it here. Developers, please... Make it more obvious what I need to do before you, uh, release this game for realsies. Before it goes out of early access, the tutorial needs to be much more explicit. Okay? It needs to, I mean, it's one thing to, once I, once you've completed the tutorial, to challenge me to figure out what to do, but the tutorial needs to be 100% unambiguous, explicit, and 
borderline hand-holdy. So, please take that into consideration as this game be it gets further towards being released for real. So, with that said, I am Acerthorn, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace! Thank you.